you will need to have NetWeaver installed prior to deploying EIS, but you only need a basic Java stack to do so. The SmartOps SCA file that is needed for deployment is not available on the marketplace, but it is the output of running the install SmartOps script. Please see the video tutorial on installing EIS for more details. And finally, do not configure any additional Java server processes when installing NetWeaver. This tutorial covers using the NetWeaver Tilnet administration tool for deploying the EIS application. You can also use NetWeaver Developer Studio, and there are more details in that regard in the EIS installation guide. You will need to know the NetWeaver administrator username and password in order to use the Tilnet tool. Although not required, we recommend that you navigate to the directory where the SmartOps SCA file is located before deploying. A directory listing here shows my smartops.sca file. To use the NetWeaver Telnet administration tool, we're going to use the Unix Telnet command. And we're going to Telnet to localhost, again, not the server name. This must be the word localhost. And the port is a combination of 5, the instance number, and 08. So in my case, the instance number is 01, so the port is 50108. This is a standard NetWeaver port. When you issue the Telnet command, you will be taken to a username prompt. This is the NetWeaver administrator user. And then after entering the user, you'll be prompted for the password. Enter that user's password. Upon connecting, you now can issue the deploy command to deploy the application. The syntax is deploy the path to the SCA file including the, the SCA file name. This is the full path, not the relative path. The keyword on deploy error with a value of stop. And workflow equals normal. Now it will take several minutes for the application to deploy completely. And I'm going to skip um, that time and all of the output generated from the deploy command and show you just the summary of that here shortly. But what you're looking for is for really, two, even though it's one SCA file, one application, there are two elements to it that are going to be deployed. You can see here highlighted in the red box, colored in yellow, you can see success messages for both EIS app and EIS app slash smart ops app. Now, while you're still in the NetWeaver Telnet tool, you can do a list app command in grep for smartops.com to see that the application has also has been deployed as well as started. And this completes the video tutorial on how to deploy the